In this video, I will compare Typeform versus Google Forms and tell you which of these form builders is probably best for you and your needs. So first, let's start with who they are actually created for and what you can do with them. So Google Forms, as it says, allows you to create forms. Now, anyone with a Google account can use this completely for free. They do have a paid plan for businesses, but that's also only for all Google's products. So then you will get Google Docs, Sheets, etc. for the business plan, where you get more storage and basically you get some more additional features. But for most people, they can use Google Forms completely for free. So that's a huge upside of Google Forms. So if you are looking for a free option, then Google Forms is probably best, although Typeform also has a free plan available. But in that free plan, you can only collect 10 responses per month. And with Google Forms, it's unlimited even in the completely free version. So when should you use Typeform if Google Forms just allows you to create forms for free? Well, you should use Typeform in a few different scenarios. First, if you're looking to get more advanced forms and you're not looking to build really basic stuff, but you want to have a lot of customization, a lot of different types of fields that you can add, and basically more advanced forms. And if you want to build surveys and quizzes, you should also go with Typeform. Then another case in which you should go with Typeform is if you want to integrate to your CRM, email marketing tools, and a bunch of other different types of tools. Or for example, if you want to embed it onto your website, then you should also go with Typeform. So Typeform allows a lot more customization. Google Forms is just a really basic form builder. So if you are building something for school, for example, a form, then you should go with Google Forms. It's just free. But Typeform is best for businesses, in my opinion. Now, in terms of pricing on Typeform, they don't show it here, but they have a completely free plan. And if you do want to claim that, you can click on the link in the description. From there, click Get Started for Free. And then you can get started with the Forever Free plan, where you can collect 10 responses per month. Now, after you have reached that limit, you can always decide to upgrade to one of these more premium plans. For example, the basic 25 euro per month plan gets you 100 responses per month. Then the plus plan here gets you 1,003 users. And then the business 89 euro per month plan gets you 10,000 responses per month and five users. You also get some more detailed analytics that you won't find in Google Forms. Now Typeform also has some templates available for forms and surveys, and those templates can be very helpful. And that is also something you won't find in Google Forms. And the final thing that I want to cover is that Typeform also allows you to create forms using AI. So you can just write what you want to create a form about and what type of a business you have, and then it will create the entire form for you. And those forms are actually very good. Now, everything here you can see looks very nice. You can add your own images, your own colors, and you can make it look really good. So that's what Typeform is best at compared to Google Forms. So if you're looking for a free basic form builder and it's not for a business, you don't want to embed it on a website or integrate it with anything, then go with Google Forms. If you do want to get a more advanced form for your business, then go with Typeform. And again, I'll leave a link to Typeform down in the description. And if you click on the link, you will be able to get started with their free forever plan. So that concludes this comparison of Typeform versus Google Forms. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.